Hey guys, how you doing? Today I'm going to be bringing you a video showing you how to do a simple stream setup using a single PC, which is really, really easy. The first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't already is download Streamlabs OBS from Streamlabs.com. Just hit this big green button right here. And when you open that up, this is what you're going to see right here. Okay. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is pull in all of your sources, which is really easy if you're gaming and streaming from the same PC. It's a little bit more complicated if you have a capture card from a console because you got to pull in different sources and stuff like that. But for a single PC setup, it's really simple. You're just going to hit the plus button and you're going to pull in a game capture. You're going to add that source and the mode is going to be set to auto. Now this makes it really easy because what this does when it's set on auto is it detects automatically most computer games that you're going to play, probably over 90%, are going to be picked up by this game cap right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull up a game. Let's pull up, um, let's do Battlefield 5. All right, now on a single PC setup, you could still have dual or triple monitors set up if you want, which I highly recommend at least two monitors. That way you can stream and all of that stuff from one monitor, monitor your stream, your chat, stuff like that while gaming on your other one. But you can do a single monitor setup. Um, if you've got a dual monitor setup, you're just gonna drag your game to whichever monitor you wanna use and drag all your other stuff like your Spotify, um, your Streamlabs OBS, all that kind of stuff to the different monitor. But for this one right here, which could show you a single PC setup with a single monitor, which is pretty easy. Um, to get in and out of the game, since you're not on a dual monitor, you can either hit the Windows button on the keyboard, which will pull up the screen right here. It's a good way to get out of the game. You can also set up your game into what's called window mode, which you can do uh, for example, this game is in the video settings. You can go over to windowed. And what that's going to do is make your game windowed. So you have a minimize button you can use right here. And you can also see your task bar down here. Alright, so there's your game capture. Super easy to pull in and you're done. If you're adding other sources, you can pull in, for example, if you have a different mic that you're using or something like that. Um, I'm just using a headset with a built-in mic, which is why down here you can see the mic aux kind of going crazy here. My mic's already pulled in, and that's, that's part of what makes this so easy compared to console streaming is you don't have to pull in a mic source and an audio source and a video source and a game source. It's all already done for you right here, assuming you've already got a, a webcam and or a mic hooked up, whatever you need, right? So now we're just going to pull in, if you want a webcam, we're going to pull in a video capture device and you're going to select your webcam right here and you're going to add that and then you can size that. Let me adjust my monitor here. There we go. Now you can adjust this however you want it. You can make it as big or small as you want. You can also, I'm going to make this 1080p so it's a little bit better shaped here. All right. And there you go. And we can add borders to this and stuff like that. I'm going to do an advanced tutorial separately. Um, that's going to focus a lot on settings, uh, using animated overlays, setting up chat bots, all that kind of stuff. Kind of along the lines of what I do here with my stream. This is my actual stream setup. I'm going to be showing you how to do all this kind of stuff right here. So. So I'll get that posted here in the next week, week and a half. Um, but for now, just the basic setup, right? So you've got your video capture device, you've got your game capture. That's really pretty much all you're going to need. And then from there, it's just adjusting your settings, okay? So you're going to go to your settings. You are going to get your stream key from twitch.tv, and you're going to enter that here so that you can actually stream to the platform you're trying to stream to. If you're trying to use Mixer, same, same idea. You can connect the Mixer from here. And then Output, this is where things kind of get a little, um, I don't want to say tricky, it's just different than console streaming. 
it's a little bit of a different setup because if you are gaming from the same PC that you're streaming from, that's a lot of resources that your computer is going to be using. So you either need a very powerful PC or you're going to have to use something called an NVENC encoder, which is available through NVIDIA graphics cards. So I'm fortunate enough, I have a Core i9 processor and it's overclocked and I have really good cooling. Typically I can use software x264 here still. I typically just need to change the CPU preset off of slow. I would need to go to probably medium or fast. And I would still be able to use my processor and stream at a similar quality that I would from a console. And of course you can leave all this untouched or you can you could play around with it if you have a dual stream setup, but for the single stream setup, this is what you're gonna have to do to make sure that your processor and your graphics card and all those resources are split evenly among Streamlabs OBS and your streaming software as well as your game and anything you're running in the background like Spotify or anything like that. So if you're gonna stick, if you've got a really, really good processor or you're playing just a game that's not very graphically intensive, I would recommend leaving pretty much every this, everything the same as if you were streaming from a console, except I would change your CPU use, usage preset because that's gonna, putting this anything below medium down to slow, slow or anything like that is really gonna tax your computer. So for this right here, this is a similar thing that I would do if I were streaming from um, my processor. If you want to use the NVENC encoder, which I highly recommend if you're going to be doing streaming and gaming from the same PC, you can, um, you can look up the technology behind NVENC in a different video or you can read about it on your own. Just know that NVIDIA has built in kind of a separate processor for streaming specifically into their newer graphics cards. So you can now use NVENC like this, adjust your bit rate to whatever you need. I stream at um, six megabits up per second upload. And all of this now is going to be selected for you. You could select a different preset based on what you need. If you're noticing any lag in your in your stream or anything like that, you can go to um, you know, max performance or something like that. But this is set up for quality initially, and I recommend just leaving all of this the same. And that's it. All your settings are now set up to stream. All you're going to hit is go live right there, and you're going to be streaming. So a lot easier than a lot of other setups, you know, instead of pulling in capture audio sources and stuff like that, you're pretty much just going to pull in a video capture device for your webcam if you want one you're gonna pull in a game cap and that's automatically gonna detect any game that you're playing and then if you're on a single monitor if you're on a dual monitor you don't have to worry about this you can just have all your chat and Spotify and everything on the other monitor but if you're playing from a single monitor you're just gonna to have to switch back and forth using that Windows key you can also control alt delete or you can go into the game settings and do what I showed you before, switching to a windowed mode so that you can just minimize whenever you need to. And you can just switch back and forth between, you know, having your chat up and then you can go back to your game. You can also use phone apps. Streamlabs has a phone app that you can use or you can just monitor your own Twitch stream on your phone and that way you can have your chat and stuff like that on your phone while you're playing your game and other than switching scenes or anything like that you don't really need to switch back and forth between the game and Streamlabs. So that makes everything really easy. If you guys are looking for a more advanced tutorial, different settings, um, how to set up overlays, chat bots, alerts, stuff like that, be on the lookout for my next video. But I hope this helps somebody who's trying to stream from a single PC. Really easy to set up, not that difficult. Just make sure you get the settings right is the biggest thing. And then you're just pulling in a couple of easy sources right here. And you're good to go. So if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. And I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible. Or you can stop by my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Merck frags. I'll put the link in the description down below. Um, you can come by there. I stream five, six nights a week, usually starting around 9 p.m. Eastern. So that'll give you an option to ask questions over there as well. And YouTube will catch you later.